Hello art friends. Uh, today we're going to be doing another Dr. Seuss inspired thing. We're going to be working on the truffle trees from the Lorax. It's super easy. It's real quick. It doesn't take any time whatsoever to do it. You just need to get you a bunch of colors. You definitely need a yellow. Um, and then the other colors you can use are, I got orange, red, and green. You can use blues. You can use purples, pinks, whatever colors you want to do. Um, but you definitely need a yellow. So we're just going to use, um, I mean, I'm going to use Sharpies. You can use whatever you want. You can use crayons. You can use colored pencils. You can use any number of things. Uh, doesn't matter. So pick a point on your paper. And you're going to draw a squiggly line like that. And then another squiggly line beside of it. You want to make sure they're kind of close together because truffle trees are thin. They're not really wide. They can get a little wider on the bottom. So if you want to make them a little thicker on the bottom, you can. But you don't have to. And then I'm going to come back and put some little squiggly lines for the body. I'm going to do another one. This one I'm going to have to be a little less squiggly. Like that. Okay. And now with this, um, you can make as many as you want. I'm only going to do two for right now. And then that's the trunk. And then for the top. In the top, you're going to start in a circle. You kind of start to fill that in as you go. And you're going to make a kind of a big circle just over and over and over again, filling it in as a circle. And when you're done with the circle, that's what it's going to look like. Then you're going to come back and you're going to go, and you're going to make like these almost like fin shapes sticking out. And see how I'm going in a circle? And they can look squiggly. They can look messy. That's totally fine. They can look rough. You can have some that are really long, some that are short, some that are thick, and some that are thin. Just like that. And I'm going to do an orange one, and then I'm going to do a green one over here. Same thing. Start out, fill in that space in a circle. And this one, I'm gonna make it a little more oval shape. Um, you don't have to make it a perfect circle every time. This one, like I said, I'm gonna make more of an oval shape. The point is it just needs to be kind of rounded. It makes it easier to do that part. And then come out. Make some thick and thin. And just go around making it a little squiggly and there you go and now you have two truffle trees so I'm gonna add one more right here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it up like that come back down with a little squiggles in this one I'm gonna make red so same thing. Oh, my red's about to run out. Hopefully, I got enough to finish this. To a circle. And then. Some thick, some thin. Going in that circular shape. Having them stick out. And there you go. We've got three truffle trees from the Lorax. And again, you can put these everywhere and have a whole forest. Um, you can draw grass and add grass if you want to, or add a sky, whatever you want. Um, doesn't matter. So there you go. Three truffle trees. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had fun. Hope you learned something. Um, and like I said, you can fill up a whole page with these really quick once you get started. And you can mix and match all kinds of colors for the tops. All right, take care. Bye-bye. 
Hello, adding this into this, I totally forgot to put this on the video. Um, you can actually come back with a black and do kind of like an outline and trace over your work. And it just adds a little bit more um, boldness. All you do is you just trace on the very edge of the yellow. And then where you do the yellow squiggles, put some black squiggles. And it just adds a little bit more, like I said, boldness to it. It makes your artwork stick out just a little bit better. You don't have to do this. This is just something that you can um, add to. Sort of enhance your work. Like that. It's totally, totally up to you on how you want to do that, or if you want to do it, you might not want to. So um, you can actually come back, and after you do that, you can come back and do an outline on the top as well. It's a little bit, can be a little bit more difficult, but again, you don't have to do the outline. That's just something if you choose to do, it can look okay, and it can look great, and it can look bad. It depends on how good you are at outlining. You don't have to do it. You can just leave it with your bold colors that you already have there. But if you want to, you can also do the tops. So, hope that helps. Hope you learned something. Hope you had fun. Take care.